Hey everyone, Riaz here. Welcome to Cockpit 3D. We're gonna do a Cockpit 3D short where we aim to get you tips, tricks, and learnings in four minutes or less. So away we go. I'm gonna to refer to this one here as a beginner's basic where we open up a scene file. We're gonna generate the point cloud and save it for your particular laser. Now, what is a scene file? A scene file is essentially the 3D model that you get from the JPEG from our artist team. We refer to it as scene. When you open it up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you select the correct crystal size that you're looking to burn into by selecting on the drop down here for template. You'll see that there's a bunch over here. We're gonna to go to the 3D 9060. Now, if you have your own size, you can simply just change it over here. Make sure you set your margins. Margins are essentially the safety zone. So you don't want the image to burn right to the edge. You're gonna keep a certain safety on the X, Y, and Z so that it does not go right to the edge. We're gonna click on okay. In fact, if you're changing the size, make sure you do click on save as and give it its own name. In this case, we're not saving it. We're just gonna click on okay and use something that we already have. I'm gonna highlight the layer that we currently have open, which is the dogs here. We can move it around by, um, by clicking on this here, the move tool. If you hover over and have both arrows highlighted yellow, you can move it in any direction. If you, for example, just wanna move it in the Y direction, make sure that you highlight just the Y arrow that'll lock it in position. Similarly for X, for the X position. If you wanna snap it into position, centered and fit to measure, click on this here, boom, away you go. If you wanna manually size it, you can click on this icon over here and do the needful. I'm gonna auto size. I'm now gonna manually move it up so that I can make some room for inscription. I'm gonna lock the Y so it doesn't move in the X and just move it up slightly. Now I have some room for inscription. I'm gonna click on the letter T over here. I'm gonna type and select the font that I want. You don't see it because it's centered behind the model over here. Make sure that you've got your text layer highlighted. Click on the Y, lock it in position and move it down. Now remember, this is 3D, so take a look at it from the profile, from the side, and move it to the correct position over here, to the front, and it looks great. So we're almost there, I know I'm on the clock, so I'm gonna move as quickly as I can. I'm gonna click on the settings icon. Make sure your X, Y is 07, your Z is 07. Edit geometry, go to projection, 852, click on save, okay, and click on go. Now, you notice that I clicked projection, I just wanna point out why you would not use projection and why you would use portrait uh, in certain instances. So in this particular case here, it looks great from the front. When you rotate it, you'll notice that there are two points of uh, disconnection. One is between the front of the body and the back of the body because the camera can't see it. So it's not generating points. Also be behind the tongue, you'll see that it's cast a shadow. So in order to make this less obvious to the human eye when it's in crystal, you wanna have points. You want to generate some points over here and some points over here. So to do that, we have this amazing function called portrait. And what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, again, it's the same as projection in terms of settings, 852. Sample radius, I'm going to go down to 1.5. The higher you go, the more the points, the longer it takes to calculate. The more the points, the less natural it looks as well. I think 1.5 is good. I'm going to click on OK and let's just watch what happens. Click on go here and you'll see it fills it over here and it's filled it over here and now it looks more natural. We're now gonna click on the laser strike, label the file, click on the file type that your laser accepts, click on save and you're done. 